So today I have a cold start of my lawnmower generator. I think it's probably the easiest 12 volt generator you can make because you already have a nice steel deck and you can just weld yourself a little generator on it. It would probably be nicer if you install it say right here punched a hole through but I found in my case that the belts uh, were really short and uh, well I just ended up putting it on the side myself how I built it. Just have a little cross member going across there. This is uh, this was how I was adjusting it. I ended up just uh, welding it uh, to it, but I was, it used to be adjustable. Now it's just uh, fixed. Uh, the belt is fairly tight. Uh, it's about the right. Once this belt gets older and stretches, I'll have to replace it more often because I don't have it uh, spring loaded or uh, adjustable. That's one downfall in, in doing it the way that I have done it, but uh, I didn't have any of the parts and I didn't feel like spending any money on this. I got this alternator uh, rebuilt. My grandpa had a few extra. He has, uh, he always has one or two on hand uh, because he has a couple of the same vehicles. And I told him what I was doing and he donated this for this project. This is actually going up uh, to his cottage for his off-grid system. I traded him. He purchased uh, one of my gray batteries for me. And he's getting this and he's getting uh, uh, this charge controller with the monitor. It's a PWM. Uh, it was still fairly expensive when I bought it. But he's getting this and the lawnmower generator in exchange for one of these batteries, which are 160 bucks. I'll uh, I'll definitely make a video of his setup. Currently, he has uh, 900 watts of solar. He's got two PWM 30 amp controllers um, that are actually wired in parallel, sharing the load. And it, they actually work pretty good like that. I was surprised. I wasn't sure if they were going to work like that, but they do. But anyways, back to what I'm making this video about. So I'm going to cold start this. And my batteries have been uh, just sitting, uh, not being charged, just sitting, and they are at 12.8 volts. So for the first, I don't know, 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, they will be taking the full output current of this lawnmower generator, and after that, they'll start going down. And this is slightly a review of this cheapy uh, watt meter from Amazon. I got it going through the lawnmower generator, which runs over here, here, through these booster cables into the lawnmower. So it runs through this. It claims 100 amps uh, surge, 50 amps continuous at 60 volts. We'll see about that. The one that I have inside hooked to a solar panel that went all wonky already, but I'm wondering if I disconnect it and reconnect it if, it if it goes back normal. Right now it just shows a bunch of weird numbers and stuff uh, popping up on it. I'll give it. It is super cheap. I can't remember how much I paid for these. I think it was like 15 bucks each or something. Retarded cheap like that. So anyways. I have quick start. Because last time I tried to start this in the winter. It just would not start. This is an old craftsman lawnmower. When I bought the house, the guy already had it, and he bought this house 14 years ago. And I'm pretty sure that's when he bought this lawnmower. Not sure, but uh, I made him throw the lawnmower in uh, when I bought the house, just because I didn't have one. So it's super old. Uh, and then I got a new lawnmower, which is actually in the backyard. And we're gonna go start it with this uh, quick start and see what kind of current we can put into the batteries. Well, here's an update. Two spray attempts of the quick start and still haven't started. Here's some, here's the temperature out here in the garage. This is Fahrenheit. Let's go Celsius. Minus about five, six in the garage. And 
Same with side. Okay, so it's only 21-ish Fahrenheit. So it's still pretty cold. I forgot to do that. I wanted to do that before I started uh, trying to start this thing. So we're going to go for the third spray of Quick Start. Uh, it's been kicking over here and there, but this thing does not like the cold. Well, it seems like third time is a charm. That's another nice feature about having this uh, built into a lawnmower. It's already on wheels. And my grandpa loves that because he's going to be able to push it around. Well, it started after the third spray of, uh, of uh, quick start. You can see my battery voltage is right there. Let's see what happens when I connect the alternator. Ah, uh, the battery voltage jumped up too quickly, unfortunately. We had about 400 uh, watts coming in there for a bit almost, which is impressive for uh, a three and a half horsepower little motor. That's at uh, full reps. Let's see if we can turn it down. I just started, so I'll probably stall. That's about an idle. Still putting out quite a bit of power. I did this because uh, there's a few people asking me to do some uh, videos on the 12 volt generator on the lawnmower. Uh, just in case was one, I believe. And if you watch this video, uh, just in case the videos are awesome, but anybody that are, hasn't already seen them. And uh, this is just uh, one of my little projects that I did. I'm going to see if I can get this battery voltage down with the load and uh, see what, what that uh, little 12 volt generator can produce. Alright, so this is what I've come up with. Lawnmower generator is running at an idle. Uh, I have this 100 amp load battery tester. And I have it hooked up to the same spot as a lawnmower generator. And almost the same spot. This is the other lead. So it's on the next battery closest to where uh, the lawnmower generator is connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the revs on the generator. They're going to hit load, which is 100 amps, dead short, through this coil in here. And I'm going to see what kind of power it produces. And it, it should be mostly the generator uh, running this thing. <laughs> so let's do that now. <laughs> Generator. So when I flick this switch here, you can put a 100 amp load on the battery bank and you should be able to watch the amps here go up and the watts go up. And you should hear the, the alternator bog down. And at that point, the alternator bogs down so much. Well, too late. I missed it. I was going to disconnect it. Looks like 600 watts is the max I can get out of that generator. Let's see if I can start it again on the camera. <coughs> All right. She's going again. The batteries are 12.99. We hit 600 watts per second. We're back up. I'm going to do this test one more time just to see. This, that engine is still working cold. It hasn't even been running more in like two minutes. Probably not good for it, but. 
but, uh, well, it's an old generator, or it's an old uh, lawnmower. I'm sure the engine can take it. It's going to be well worn in. So I'm going to hit the switch one more time. It hit 625 for about one second. I need to figure out the max amps I can pull so I can put a, a, some sort of circuit or something in there to reduce the power that it produces. Do that one more time. Looks like around 45 amps, 46 amps is my max I can produce. That generator produced more power than the 12 volt generator. That's my next test. All right, so now the normal generator is running. That's a 1200 watt power generator, and it's a Power G. Right there. I still have it half choked. That started extremely easy. I was very, very impressed. Obviously, lawnmowers are not built to start in the winter like generators are. Anyways. <laughs> Gonna let it warm up for a few more seconds. And the extension cord runs over here to my charger. I know I could do this test straight from my wall to see what my charging output, but uh, that varies from generator to generator, and this is what I have, and that's a 12 rated 1200 watt generator. It outputs about 120, 130 volts. It bounces in between. And I have different settings. I'm gonna be trying all of them and see what it produces. Let's turn the choke off. Look at that. It won't run without choke yet. Gotta leave it for a bit more. Voltage is now staying at 13 volts. And one thing uh, I'm going to show you guys is I've had quite a few sunny days lately. This is about almost two weeks since I was at 31 kilowatts. And I've put quite a bit of power, man. I went from 31 kilowatt, kilowatts to 76.8 kilowatts in under two weeks. I am liking this inverter. I think unless it breaks soon, it will. It should be able to pay itself off at least. But I don't know. We'll see. It could break tomorrow. Who knows? All right. Let's try the choke again. Wow! It does not want to run without choke. Let's do the test with the choke partially on. <coughs> yes, I know this is not good to run systems cold and blah, blah, blah. I know. I got this stuff all really cheap anyways. All right, we're gonna try this on the two amp setting. So it's pushing two amps and that's fairly accurate. It's bouncing between two and three amps going in. Let's try 20 amps. It does in fact say 20 amps going in. It's limiting, it might be limiting, so I'm gonna hit the load button. So we're looking at around 25 amps. That's pretty dang good, I think. Now the high setting, 55 to 140. That 140 is only if you're starting a car and it dips below 10 volts. Will it ever produce even close to this? It's normally around 55, around 50, from what I've seen. Okay, 
Okay, this is without a load. My battery bank's getting pretty high here. Put a load on it. Down to 13 volts. Around 40 amps coming in. Oh, look at that. I held it for a little too long, I think, there. <laughs> Gotta pay more attention. I gotta let it cool down. I'm gonna hold this up so it doesn't uh, heat the bottom side up too much for the batteries. Anyways, the power's still coming in. It looks to me like they're pretty equal. Uh, this charger with that generator or the straight DC generator. But I would think that the DC generator is a little bit more efficient. And batteries are getting a little bit of an equalized charge, which is good. I don't think I've equalized these forever. Even though they are uh, they are AGMs, they don't really get equalized very often. Okay, I'm going to go turn the choke off and see if it runs any better. Well, so you can forget that. It just won't run without choke right now. So... Final test. What can this thing output? We're doing 400 watts fish right now. We're looking at about just for over 40 amps and I got hot again. <laughs> oh. Pretty freaking hot. Lots of power here. <laughs> Barely dip below 13 volts. Let's leave that there for a while. <laughs> so, I think I hit 45 amps on this for a second. And I hit 46 amps on that for a second. But the thing about this one, this one I don't have to worry about uh, going over and the engine stalling, or that one, the engine will stall. And I'm pretty sure this one has a, a bigger engine on it than this one does. This is only three and a half horse, but still not sure about that. And there's my little comparison of my two generators I have. So it looks like between the two, if I had them both running at the same time, I could have about 80 amps pumping, it, pumping into the batteries. About the same as my solar here, 80 amps. They, those two do go a little over 40. I had 45 coming out of that one. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably take this off now. I think my batteries are pretty topped off. Well, maybe not. They're still taking quite a bit of power. Might leave this for a little bit. I'll turn it down to the 20 amp setting. There we go. <coughs> I'll be a little bit healthier for them. Oh yeah, and also... These wires, they didn't do too bad for like a quick test. I definitely would not be pumping 40 amps through this continuous. There's no way because they're already like slightly warm. So there's, there's no way this could take 50 amps continuous without overheating, at least from what I can tell. All right, thanks for watching guys. And that's my little generator comparison. <laughs>